Alrighty, it's a beautiful day. We're walking back down the lane and it's a beautiful fall day. I'm gonna be working on the water system today, which I've actually already worked on it. This video is backwards, so this is the end of the video. So I've got a little bit of a happiness in my face because we got the water to work. It was pretty good. It was, we're running low on water which has always been the case around September, October. This has been a really dry year, but we still have water, which is pretty impressive actually. Just a matter of getting the water into our system. Normally I wouldn't have to worry about this at all, except for maybe cleaning out leaves and any debris that would be in the system because there's normally a lot of water. So, so stay tuned for the uh, information to show you how our water system works and I kind of go through why I'm documenting it and the process and hopefully it makes sense to you and mostly to myself and if I have to look at it in the future. Okay, over and out. Hi everybody. Just wanted to document today. This is our, our water system for up the hill and I want to do this for a number of reasons. One is for myself so I can document what I'm doing so I need to look back at it. One is for my kids. I don't know where I'm supposed to look on this camera. And, you know, and or someone who needs to come up and work on the system. They got an idea of what's going on. And it just, it's kind of fun and it's different too. So not many people have systems like this. So it's just kind of a fun documentation. So I'm just going to show you what's up. It's been a really dry year. Last year, we did run out of water and I kind of had to find a way to get more water into the system based upon what's already there and I'll show you that as the video kind of proceeds. So let's let's take a look. All right so here we have this big cement tube cistern we call it and you can hear the water right now I'll just listen going into it. Normally you wouldn't hear the water during lots of water uh, during lots of water season because the water would be flowing into the water itself and it, it would be it would be silent but right now I'll open it up and you'll see there's a tube just give me a sec here this is heavy okay so you can see the water is quite low from here to the water it's probably I'm guesstimating eight feet from from here to the water normally the water would be up here and maybe be literally like a foot or two feet away from the top here. Water is still coming in, which is still a good sign, but it'd be nice to have more. And up until last week, the water was up to that area. Now, two things could have happened to make the water low right now. One would be the water is just pumped up to the house and made it lower and it takes a long time to fill. Or I think as the water level gets low, the, the ground pressure around here, the water is able to seep out. And so it's kind of like a calculus question. The water out and the water in, the water out is, is a quicker rate than the water in. So what I'm gonna to try to do right now is I'll show you where this water piece comes in. It goes under the ground, under here, and I'll show you when I get to there where the water is actually seeping in. It's, it's literally ground water in the sense of a, of a natural spring that comes out and it fills this. So we do get rainwater in there as well. And you'll see from there. So I'm just gonna stop the video and then when, when you see me next, I'll be up in that area. All right. So this little waterway, there's a, it's actually been, someone poured cement here. So there's actually cement. This, this is a natural spring up there and the water just kind of naturally just comes out of the ground. It's been dry here for two months and this is still flowing, but not flowing like it should in the sense of for us to have lots of water, just to have enough. And in here, I'll take this out. I just put this grate here to keep major leaves off. And I put the rocks here to keep, you know, frogs and other things out of there, although it's impossible to keep everything out. And there's where the water comes in. Now, over here, if you notice, I'll zoom in. There's more water over here. Actually more water than there is at our system here. So I have made last year, 
I have this pipe here, which I will eventually take this once I get the water flowing out of it and put it into our pipe there to get excess water. But up in here, I've dug this uh, water line. I think it's like a, a one inch water line underneath here. And then I've made like a little container that kind of sits just below the water and it fills up with water. You do get some dirt and rock going into it. So it'll be full, it'll be full of junk. So I have to climb in here, which is gonna be fun. I brought a bag so I can lay on it because I need to lay on that ground, which is just sopping wet and then dig around in there. And then hopefully I can get water coming out of this hose, which I can then feed into our system to give more, just more water in. That's really what it is. The rate of water going in has to be greater than the rate of water going out. I want to take advantage of this right now while I can, just in case this goes dry, because this, this could easily go dry. And then we have, then we have no water. Uh, and that's, that's not a good thing. All right. So I've got small tools like garden tools to dig with, and then a paper bag or sorry, a plastic bag so I can lie down and not get as wet. I'm going to get wet and muddy, but this should make it a little bit less wet and muddy. I want to use these smaller tools just so I do less environmental damage in the sense of I don't want to do too much damage to this system. Or you'll see me crawling around on the other side and then I'll video what, what I have at the other end so you can kind of have an idea. Okay, sorry I'm all muddy and a little bit sweaty and it's pretty uh, tight quarters in there. So let me show you what we got here. So we've got the water flowing in from there. Right now I'm just letting it flow here so I can get all the mud cleared out and everything. And I'll show you in a moment what's happening up at the top here. I'll walk you in there right now. So here we go. Let me back up a bit. This is gonna be a little bit bumpy. Okay, so bear with me. It's all muddy in here. And, oh, okay. So, uh, that's where the water just naturally comes out of. It's pretty amazing, there's this old stump here. Um, so the water has been coming there with a good flow. I, I would have put that here, but this is where I had it last year. And amazingly enough, that's where the water was coming from last year. This year it's migrated up a little higher, which is actually better. And it's going into, <clears throat> This little old yogurt container which happens to have a pipe that sticks up so it's not right in the mud and then you'll hear it once in a while the gurgles let me zoom in a bit you can zoom in quite far the water is going into the top of that pipe right there and the rocks is holding the container down and then that's why at the other end it would be a full flow and then when it sucks too much I, I might play with this here a bit and get that submerged just a hair more. So then there's less chance of, uh, <clears throat> less chance of it sucking air like that. So that's the system we have. Um, the water was, was flowing here and a little bit into there too, but I had to dig through here anyway to get to the pipe and the water went in there. So I thought, well, let's just keep it that way. The water can kind of flow that way and now it will flow a little bit different way out of this system so that's where we're at so kind of a like i said this is only this is only a temporary fix during these water times when water is really low and i mean it's kind of fun it's stressful at the same time too but the fact that we still have a little bit of water and we have more water here coming out is amazing with uh, the without two months of two months of rain or anything like that so it just shows you how much water there is just within the the water, the ground, the, the, the earth system as it is. Okay, we've got it submerged deeper, a bigger rock on top. It's murky right now because I've just disturbed all the soil and everything. We'll go back and see if we've got water coming out. I pause easier. Okay, we have a constant flow of water.
Why it's not a little bit more, I don't know. You think you would just be pumping through there full force. Let me try blowing it out again. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just gonna let it clear out for like the five, 10, 15 minutes. And then I'll shove it into the, into that hose as well. And then we'll have that little water that we have plus this water filling up the cistern at a constant rate. Wow, as constant as the flow is, but this is pretty substantial water flow coming from up there. Happy about that, it's amazing. Okay, so let's recap. There's the current water coming in. Pretty slow rate. Double check to make sure this looks like it's flowing fairly clean. And that does. Looks fairly clean. Nice water, nice water flow coming through under the rocks into the yogurt container through. Then it's coming around here like it did before and exiting back down into the stream or into a stream, not the stream. There's a stream there normally, but right now the stream is non-existent. So here comes the fun part. I'm going to take this hose and shove it into here. Hope I don't hit the camera doing this though. All right. Just listening to see if I can hear a... Yeah. There's substantially more flow. Okay, that's good. Let's now... Take my one rock that is my security for just big junk coming down. Put these around it just for a little junk. This on top. That on top to keep it there. I'll come back and pick up my tools and the plastic. Now, you can hear it already. That's a quicker flow. That's, like, uh, that's all we can do. Hopefully that makes sense for the system of how that all works. It's nice to have water still flowing. So I'm gonna show you now, just, that's the cistern water comes from up in the bush, into the cistern. And then from there, I'm gonna show you where it pumps it to. It's a ways up the hill here into another holding tank where most of the water is stored. And so I'll, I'll drive up there right now and you can see. it into here so when the level in here goes too low it signals a pump down below to go and then it fills this up this is 1200 gallons and then the water is pumped from over there over the 1200 gallon cistern or holding tank into the house and then into the system so we can use it and my boots are all dirty from that's where our water comes from Pretty crazy. So it's been about an hour of filling. Let's see if we made any progress here. Still coming in strong. 
But it has gone up maybe, it has gone up about a foot. It's hard to tell from this perspective. But at least it's coming in nice and strong. Feels good about that.